This lab is revived, uh, revised from the SQL injection attack lab provided by the seed group. So you can open a new tab and open its description. Here is the lab, SQL injection attack lab. Last week, we completed uh, task one and task two. And today we are going to complete task three and task four. Before this lab, please back up the original database and uh, web applications. Here's the database users. Once you're done this lab, you're suggested, you're suggested to restore your database users. Maybe you have modified your database during our last lab. So you are suggest to restore it before this lab use this command. Also the web page we used for this attack last week to res restore it before the lab here. We can I backed up the database and application here. Then I can use this command to restore the database. My SQL dash your root dash piece of my password. The database name is called users. The backup file is users dot SQL. Oops, I need to cd to that home folder, a uh, host for folder, or you just supply it here. It's under the host folder. Yours may be different. The password uh, for the root in my SQL is a seed Ubuntu. If you forgot this information, please check lab seed one. All the information about the seed virtual machine is described in, in lab zero one, the lab menu provided by seed. Then I restore this uh, web page and modify in the last lab here. First, I need to app seed. I need to uh, extract that file from my archive. Actually, this uh, database and uh, this uh, application, I made a backup for your for your convenience, so you can download it from here. Backups you can download this uh, zip file and this uh, database. Use seven Z X SQL F dot seven Z. If you didn't install your seven Z, it will tell you how to install it. Okay, this the I copied everything, backed up everything. So now I need to copy this. Uh, and save home. Dot PHP to the target folder. I now I restored this uh, PHP file and the database, so we can start our lab. Text three. SQL injection attack on update statements. Update, select, select we have practiced in our last lab. And uh, apply counter measure. We use this uh, prepared statements. So once you apply this counter measure, you 
you will redo those attack and you will see they become invalid. So go to the official description here. We already know this information. I will go to uh, task three. Here, task three. Injection attack on update statements. It means in the web application, that is the web page used to process those update statements. Here, this unsafe edit backend.php file is used to update employees' profile information and you can check the source code. And for today's lab, I would like to go to the folder documents to make a, a folder. Make the our lab tail. From here, you can type sub air to open that file to have a look. Or you open every file inside the target folder. Let's just open this file. And save edit backend.php. Uh, this is a file we are going to exploit. Yeah, when you check this uh, part, first the hash password, you will show one hash. We create or construct this uh, six statements, update the table credential set, these uh, values, where ID equals this ID, then we execute these six statements. We have three subtasks, modify your own server, modify other server, and modify other people's password. You can log into any uh, user, for example, Alice. And Alice can uh, modify all her own information. That website we used the last week. Here the website is this one. Let's log into Alice. Login as Alice here. The password is seed Alice. And Alice can see her profile. Employee ID, salary, birthday, social security number, nickname, email, address email address, phone number, and so on. Now we check this statement, how do we ex exploit the SQL injection attack? Here, modify your own salary. Alice's salary here is uh, 20,000. Now how to modify her 
the survey. We need to construct the seeker injection. You use this uh, edit profile, right? The edit profile, then you can put the values and uh, the text SQL statements here on these text boxes. We need to check this uh, updated statement. Nickname, email, address, password, phone number. This part. Now, how do we supply a password somewhere? Any of this box, we can supply a cell over there, right? Nickname, email, address, password, and so on. I go back to check this stuff here. You see all this uh, information empty. Nickname, email, address, phone number, they're all empty. And this information, survey birth secure security number, social security number, are not here. So here you can uh, just uh, add a quick comma address. Let's say, uh, Nickname, princess, email, alice at gmail.com. Address, you can put in your address. Let's say uh, more. Phone number. So we can supply, uh, let's just let's put a uh, one to nine. Password. She doesn't want to change her password. Now you check these statements. You can put that salary under any of these uh, text box. For example, let's put the, have this uh, nickname. Here in this uh, nickname, how do you supply that one? We use a single quote as a delimiter, then add a comma, then you can add a salary equals, for example, 99999. Do we need a comment? When you check these statements, uh, you only use this where ID equals this ID, ID, when she logged in, that ID is also uh, is already saved by the server. So the password, let's uh, provide this password. Seed, Alice. Otherwise, you do, an empty password will be set here, password. Here goes a hashed password. All right, do you think this uh, comment will comment out or other part? Or you just uh, comment out of this line? Here, just this uh, nickname, we put uh, just after this nickname, it will comment out just this, everything after, at the end of this, uh, this line. Or it will comment out out everything else. You can put this uh, salary here or here or here or here, any of these place. If we don't use this uh, common symbol, could we still be able to modify it? Do we need to supply a some column? So you can uh, have a try here uh, without a semicolon. 
we know in this apps, in this statement, this, this SQL statement, we, we need uh, some column to, to separate each field. So suddenly we need a uh, some column. Now, do we need this uh, comment? Without that comment, that same column will be enclosed here. This comment, this, this part, salary equals 9999, it will be enclosed within these two single quotes. How do we see the output? You can uh, use the techniques we used in our last lab to see what this, uh, what the final SQL statement looks like after it's processed by the uh, PHP. So we need this one is used to comment out this single code. And certainly this are uh, common. Here, there's a single column, this common will be common. So that's why this, this one is still needed. Now let's save it. Here is a modified, we can refresh our look. The salary is not modified. So which means our construct here, this one didn't work, right? Salary equals 99, we're coming out, it didn't work. You can also open a terminal window to check the database, the salary, MySQL, Dash your root seed Ubuntu. And we use the database users select everything from that credential table. Now you see Alice's salary is still here. It's not modified. We put that salary inside this part, the nickname part. That's nickname. And we use this uh, common, this single code paired with this single code. And this field is salary, which means there is no problem with this part. Here is unsafe at the front end. This is the one we we are using. Let's open its source code to compare that part. Here, update credential set nickname equals this one, email address, or where ID equals this dollar ID. So its statement uh, looks like this. Here, if the password Field is empty, it's okay. We don't uh, supply a password. And they are all in a single uh, step, in a single line here. They're all put in a single line.
It's okay, we leave this password empty. Now we wonder what this comment, it will comment out. All other stuff you will put at this nickname, inside this nickname, right? inside here. We have the comment out all this stuff. If so, then it will modify everyone's uh, salary. Right? Because we don't have this where ID equals dollar ID. But when we update, nothing happened. Here we save it and we see uh, nothing happened. Just still this stuff. This salary is not changed. Anyone noticed the problem why it uh, does not work? It looks like this whole statement is not executed, right? This is a statement. So we, we can go to this uh, web page to modify it, to show up these uh, six statements to see what it looks like. We can show it here. We use echo SQL. And let's save it. Supply the password DES. Okay, now it's uh, saved. But uh, it will go to home right away. So we will not be able to see these uh, statements. So any, any ideas? So we, we will be able to see these six statements. For those students who know a PhD program. When we log into this application, we have a session. Within this session, the active session, you can see the ID, EID, they are all saved in these uh, variables. So you can access them in your code. This ID, now we, we don't need to supply because it's supplied by this session, with this session ID. We can go back to check that uh, home, unsafe home to have a look. I 
let's open a terminal window here. We can open for this this menu, then they will put in the same sub area. And save uh, home. We go to here, we want to check that uh, ID, those, those uh, variables saved in this session. Here is a name, EID, and ID. Here you see the saver here. ID, EID, name, and password. We can also create a session variable to hold that uh, SQL statements. Then you will be able to see it. This is uh, one idea. How do you see that uh, SQL statements to see what it looks like? How do we uh, create one? We create the unsafe home dot php. Is it okay to create it here? Right? Session let's create uh, update SQL. Here we that equals uh, empty. This is how we debug the program. Now we can access that session in this unsafe at the back, back end of page here. How do we access it? We can put here. We didn't save in your uh, statements. So, okay, we just use this one. We didn't save in a variable. For example, this ID is saved in. All these variables are saved in these session variables. Then we can access from other uh, web pages. This is the way you transfer the data between different web pages in PHP. Here, this one is empty. On the session, we can update this variable.
Oops. Okay, we save this one way to go back to this uh, hole, uh, unsafe hole. We want to access it. Now we are this one uh, be, be replaced with this empty space if we write like this. So it's likely to be overwritten with this empty space. Or empty street, not empty space, this is empty street. So now let's see which place is a good place to show up these statements. Okay, now let's try it again. We save it. Here you come back to this uh, unsafe home. You will see these statements, what it looks like. It looks like this, update credential service nickname and salary equals this one. Actually, it's all in a single sentence. So this uh, comment, it will comment out all this part. This is what it uh, looks like. So the salary, do we need this as an upcase? Here we let's change it to upcase, yes. But the upcase is not transferred to here we still get a lowercase s. Okay, I wonder why this uh, lock is not updated to uh, to upcase still uh, show as lowercase. Here, this ID is a session ID. It's not a employee ID. When we check this, uh, this database, the ID X, Y is, is Alice. So that it looks like this, uh, this ID, the, the record ID is used as this uh, for this one. At x1 is Alice. But if this is commented out, everything will be right. We can copy this one and to execute to test in this uh, terminal window MySQL. You will paste here and you will see this part is uh, everything is commented out. So everyone's salary will be modified. We 
we can press enter to help test here. Because also this is a semicolon is a commented out. So we need to provide a semicolon. So we have syntax error. So let's see the error ones. What is the error test? Had a line one near there. Update credential set nickname equals this one. Salary equals this one. If we comment out all those stuff, with a semicolon here, it will, uh, with a comma here, it will not work. So let's go back to remove that comma. Now you see the password is uh, changed. That case does not matter. The salary is changed. We wonder if the weather change is uh, changed as Alice's uh, salary or everyone's salary. But uh, wait a minute. Uh, here, this statement is uh, it uh, didn't change everything because it's uh, it has a syntax error and it failed. We can use select to have a check. You see everyone's salary is changed, right? Here, everyone's salary is changed. This is what, this is not intended to, to do it, which means here we use this, uh, this one, everyone's salary is changed. You will use comment out from here. Right? We will comment out from here, then everyone's salary is changed. Now, so you also see, you can add the statements here where ID equals, then you can add anyone's ID, then you can change anyone's salary. As I said here, you change it, to change your own salary, change some other's salary and some other's password. So for example, if you want to change Bob's, Bob's salary, Bobby, Bobby's ID is two. You can provide everything here where ID equals two. For example, change your box salary to zero. Now this time, since you provide a where ID equals two, it will only change Bobby's salary. Well, everything is commented out, so we, we don't need to provide uh, any stuff here. You save it. These are statements, what it looks like. Okay, that, uh, this is not updated because that is source code inside of here. When we, uh, we only say when it's empty, then we update it. So now let's uh, update every time. This is equal statements. We save it. But that statement uh, sh should have modified Bobby's salary. What salary we put inside? We put a salary equals zero, right? You can check uh, Bobby's salary in this terminal window. Here you see Bobby's salary is modified to zero. So with the same techniques, you can modify Bob's password. You just put everything here. Salary equals zero. 
and the password. So we need to know the password field name. The field name is a password here. Password. You know the case does not matter. Uh, password equals let's say one two three. Where ID equals two, and comment out everything else. And you save it. Oh, this time you see the session variable is updated. Right? It's updated like this. Everything else is commented out. Come here, you can uh, check Bobby's password. Here, Bobby, but we know now you see Bobby's password is changed to one, two, three. This is not the right way. We need to show one to convert this plain text password to a hash code. So the right way, it would be like this. Here, password equals show one, one, two, three. And save it. These are SQL statements uh, executed. Now you check uh, Bobby's password. Here it becomes a uh, hash code. We can log in as Bobby with a one, two, three, password one, two, three. You log out, Alice, and log in as Bobby. Password one, two, three. We know Bobby's previous password is a seed Bobby. Uh, you see uh, now Bobby's password is under two, one, two, three. We're logging in to Bobby's uh, web page, Bobby profile, and the salary is zero. Uh, this is a uh, task uh, three, three point one, three point two, three point three. We complete all these subtasks, and you may put that attack and uh, any of these field, yeah, any of these field. But you need to. Uh, it's better you use this technique to see what it looks like. It's a final. Uh, the SQL statements after it's processed by PHP, what it looks like. Right? We use this app, echo, SQL. No, it's not, not show up here. It, is, it will show up here. In this unsafe home.php, we use this technique to echo it here. We save it into a session variable, so it, it will be shared by all these web pages in the same session. Update SQL. We save this uh, update SQL statements into this uh, session variable. All right, this is uh, task three. We just finished uh, task three. Now we want to apply the common measure with the prepared statements. We learned that the fundamental problem of the SQL statements vulnerability is the failure to separate the code from data. And we also learned that uh, prepared statements is one way used to separate the code from data. So now let's uh, apply this common measure. Uh, please read the uh, text by yourself. I will just go through to write the prepared uh, statements for the select statements, update statements, and so on. 
we first we need to write a template. For example, this one of our select statements. The data we want to supply is this ID and this password. We use a question mark to put here to create a template, SQL template. And then make it a, become a prepared. We prepare it as a prepared statements. When we want to execute it, we bind the data, the ID and the password to this uh, prepared statements. And uh, you need to pay attention to this uh, string, the I integer S string. So this ID is an integer, this, S, this uh, password is a string. So you need to check the my, my SQLI is documentation to find the statement, to find the description of this band parameter function, how to use it. Here after we band the data or band the parameters, then we execute, get the result and so on. The result, we also need this uh, band result, band name, band local, band gender. Here, the name, local, and agenda. These are the fields uh, we extracted. Here is the AS, it has a description here. For this task, uh, please use the prepared statement mechanism to fix the SQL injection melody exploited by you in the previous uh, tasks, then check whether you can still exploit the vulnerability or not. So you need to convert these vulnerable statements to these uh, prepared statements. I think the templates are, templates are provided the PHP code are provided here. You can check in the website, go to that folder. Here you have save at the back end, save home, right? So far we exploit the six server in this unsafe home and unsafe edit of one end. unsafe at the backend, which one I'm using. Here is unsafe uh, at the backend. So when you open this, these are three unsafe files and these two safe files to make a comparison. A good way you to compare this one is use a, use a comparison program, for example, meld. And you can use this file to compare them. Unsafe uh, home. You compare with that uh, Safe home. Then you can find the difference. For example, here, this uh, link and uh, safe home. This link is a safe home. You scroll down. You can find these uh, six statements. Here, this is the unsafe six statements. This is the safe six statements with prepare statements. Let right, me see the, how you prepare these uh, statements. Question mark, band, parameter, execute, band the result, and so on. The output. Do we have something uh, like this here? Convert a red type to JSON format and read out 
On the right side, we don't have the answer part. Can I scroll down to see whether you have those code. Those are different so the highlights of it. On the right side, you can see those are blue bars, green, green bars. Yeah, there is a difference here. And save home, save home. All right, for this uh, save home, Yeah, we didn't see uh, lots of code like this converted to JSON format. You may access it from here. Let's log out, uh, Bobby. This index, you can modify from this uh, index.html to find all those unsafe, uh, unsafe PHP. Then we open the index file, the home page. In this home page, you control F find un save. Here you see an unsafe home. Find next. We want to just find unsafe to see how many unsafe do we have. I just one unsafe here. So you modify this one, unsafe home, you modify it to safe home. Corner S, save it. Right now you can refresh this uh, web page and log in. For example, as Alice, we know Alice's password is see the Alice. Now you see uh, this is Alice's profile. So you need to attack this log, this select statement. So you can refer to our last lab to see you should not be able to uh, attack it. Because we use this safe home.php to process this information. We know we use a prepared statements. Now for this add profile, here is still unsafe at the front end. So we, we need to check that code in this safe home PHP. Here we open that safe home dot, dot PHP. In this safe home dot PHP, you want to find all those unsafe stuff. Here's one of them, but this is a front end dot PHP, not back end. That were front end. So now the front end for that are unsafe, uh, unsafe at front end, you need to find it. Unsafe uh, front end. In this unsafe front end, do we have, here you see we have six statements unsafe at front end, select this one. So you also need to refer to safe uh, home and a safe at the back end to modify this uh, unsafe at front end. I want to close this mail.
you need to create a, a safe edit front end. You can copy this one. So do unsafe. So do copy unsafe edit front end to a file called safe. Edit, but this time you will create edit uh, front end. Then you use this safe at the backend.php as an example to modify this. This one is safe edit front end, which means you need to convert those uh, SQL statements to prepared statements. After that, you need to repeat the, the select statements you have done in the last lab. And also the update statements here, the updates you, you attacked today to redo it. And you should see you will no longer be able to attack them. <laughs>